Hey everyone, and welcome to another video with me, Ro, from Scalpel and Stem. In this video, I'm going to be making media using my Scalpel and Stem all-in-one philodendron multiplication media. It makes one weird. So let's get started. So in order to make media, you'll need everything that you see here. The stir bar and the stir plate, a measuring device for the media once it's made, I recommend a pair of gloves, a pH meter, a garbage bag, a container containing 10% bleach. I have my containers lined up that I'm going to be putting the media in once it's made. I use four 16 ounces, three of the eight ounces, and I usually only use eight of the two ounces, but there's 10 here just in case I have a little media left over. Both the lids and the containers need to be polypropylene so they won't warp in the microwave. I have water, distilled water here. Distilled or reverse osmosis water will work. I have a container that will hold one liter. I have my jar of philodendron multiplication media from scalpel and stem. I have some saran wrap to seal my containers once the media is in there. I have some pH up and pH down, as well as droppers to dispense those. A little scoopula to help me out with the powder. And then I use food coloring. It's 100% unnecessary, but it helps me differentiate when I'm making multiple types of media. I've measured one liter of water into my container and added the stir bar and placed it on top of the stir plate. I'm going to add my scalpel and stem all in one media. And I'm going to use my scraper to scrape out whatever I can. After I've scraped out my container, there is a little residue, but I've accounted for that. I've added three drops of food coloring to my media to make sure that it's identifiable to me as philodendron. This is an unnecessary step but it helps me keep track of my different types of media. Now that everything's dissolved, we're gonna go ahead and measure our pH. We want it to be around 5.8, and as you can see, we're a little bit low. That's usually the case with the media. So we'll go ahead and grab our pH up. You wanna make sure you're adding your pH up slowly, because it jumps quickly, as you can see. A little drop at a time. We're currently at 5.85, and that's good enough for me. So we'll go ahead and rinse our pH meter and put it away for next time. I've laid out my big containers next so I can start filling media. I do 150 in the 16 ounce. I use 75 milliliters for each of the eight ounce containers. Now that my media level is low, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the stir plate and finish by filling my little cups. I do between 25 and 30 mils for each cup. After filling my containers, I lightly lay the lids on top. We don't want to snap them down just yet. I've cleaned the inside of my microwave and the counter around it with my 10% bleach solution. I've gotten my garbage bag ready and I'm going to spray 10% bleach in here. I've started my microwave with my media in it. I know for my microwave, seven minutes works for getting it to a nice boil and then allowing it to boil for at least five minutes. My media just finished cooking, but it's gonna be super hot. So I set a timer for five minutes. That'll alert me when it'll be cool enough to actually touch. Since I'm now working with sterilized media, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves. I'm going to spray my gloved hands with a 10% bleach solution. And I'm going to spray the inside of my garbage bag again. Even though it has been five minutes, the media is still gonna be exceptionally hot. So I wanna try and move as quickly and as carefully as I can to get the media from the microwave to the garbage bag. going to spray inside the garbage bag again. I'm going to fold in the top and kind of press it down. And I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes, during which time it will cool. Now that it's done 10 minutes, I snap down all of the lids and then remove the media from the bag. I then take my little roll of saran wrap and go around at least twice. Now that my media is made and sterilized, I store it in a cool, dark place in a bin that I've sprayed with bleach. I let it cure for at least two days, usually about a week, and it's good for about one month. And that's how I make media, using the scalpel and stem all-in-one phylodendron multiplication media. I hope you like this video, folks. Thanks for watching.